looking for an easy COVID safe charcuterie board alternative, then this is a video for you. Today I am going to be making the charcuterie. So let's just jump right into this video and show you everything that you're going to need to make something so simple and safe for your guests. Jordan and this is Amazing Grace Boards and on this channel I do what I love. I put together meat and cheese on a platter, on a plate, on a board, in a jar, in a cup. Any way that I can figure out how to entertain my guests and make it fun and inviting for them is what you'll see on this channel. So if that is something you love then please consider subscribing and come on here and chat with me inside the comments. I'd love to have you a part of our community. So let's get right into what you're going to need to make these charcuteries. So this is a four ounce mason jar. I just pulled the top off here. Um, they came in a pack between like 12 and 16 of these for just around $20 on Amazon. So I'll make sure to link everything that I can below so that you could just easily find those and grab all the things that you'll need like different toothpicks. I have different decorative toothpicks that you'll be using solely for these cups. So that is obviously the main point that we're going to have. So I'll move on to fruit. You can choose any fruit you like, any berries. Berries are always the easiest and pair really well with any meat and cheese. So today I have blackberries. I'm also gonna use some little tangerine slices. And then I have as a, um, usually like I, I try to do an olive or a pickle. So these are cornichon and green pitted pickles, uh, excuse me, pitted olives. And uh, so these, these are important because these are just, I have, what I have in stock is walnuts and these kettle sweet almonds. So I'm using that as the base because things start to move around really easily. I noticed with when I built these in a cup. So I like to use that as like a filler and a base. So as you start to pick, put your toothpicks in there, it's going to stay really well. And of course, it's great as a snack as you start to move around and pick what you want to eat. So there's only one meat we're going to use. It's a salami. It's a Genoa salami. And um, then the cheese, I found these mini Free bites. These are from Trader Joe's. They are hard to find right now, but you don't need to worry if you can't find those. You can get a uh, brie itself and have a cute, cut them in really cute slices. Also, um, just any other cheese. So I found a cheddar. I figured a nice, soft, mild cheese would go great, as well as a sharp cheddar, just so you can have a different balance of cheeses that you can offer in a jar. So this is just a uh, sharp cheddar. It's aged for 18 months. So that's what I'm gonna cube up and I'm gonna put on a toothpick or a skewer. So those are the only two cheeses that you're gonna have and that is that is it. It's really easy. I did buy this poultry herb. Uh, it, I, it's just like a set and basically it has sage, thyme, and rosemary and I just love these as decorative. So it came all together and I don't need to buy a ton of stuff. Um, that's all you're gonna need. Of course, the cracker as well. Uh, I don't have it in a package because I have a ton here, but I have a rectangular cracker as well as a stick, little um, bread sticks that you can use. So those will those will fit and pair really nicely with everything that we have inside this jar, and that's it. That's why it's so easy. These jars, once you have them, you have them forever. You can use them for anything else. But for this, it's gonna be so great for your guests to pick up. I have a board here that I'm gonna serve it on, but I also had thought this would be great. This is from Target from the dollar spot. You can put like two or three or fit as many as you can for people to take and go when they please. So that's it. So we're just gonna to start to put this all together, get it going, and it's so simple. You're going to love to build this and your guests are gonna to love to eat it. So let's get started. I'm starting off with the five four ounce jars here 
on my board and I'm gonna start to add our fillers. So that is the walnuts and the toffee almonds in each one. And I'm going to pick up the skewer and start to lengthen out how long I want these for our cheeses. And I'm actually gonna be putting the brie on there. So I wanna make sure I have it the perfect size because those are definitely too tall. So I just use scissors to cut those. Here are the brie and then I do have cubes of cheddar as well as these little triangles. So I'm not sure which one I'll be using, but I figured I would test both out and see what looks best or fits best really so here I go chopping up the skewer and then I'm placing just this brie wheel on there no other cheese just because I do want to still keep some uh, room at the bottom so this is one of the bigger things that are in each jar so I figured I would leave one on here and so now I figured the next biggest item would be our cracker. So I've got our cracker here and I'm also putting a breadstick in the opposite direction. So I'm kind of leaning one cheese to the left and the, the either the cracker or the breadstick to the right just to kind of balance out the, the uh, shapes, I guess, and have it look a little bit more balanced in my opinion. So now I'm going to move on to a regular toothpick. So I'm gonna put the cornichon pickle on the first, on first, and then I'm gonna put the green olive right on top. So those are gonna, those eventually actually get moved up to the front. So as of right now, I place them also to the right next to our breadstick, but I wanna make sure that I'm obviously letting you know that I do move things around constantly as I'm building. So this is just me uh, using what I've got. So here I've got those tangerines. I also peeled them and sliced them. I wasn't sure which one I thought would look best or fit as well. So um, here I am going to use two pieces of salami and I'm going to put them on a different little skewer or uh, pick so I do end up folding the salami in half and then I fold it again in half again and then it kind of creates this little ribbon so here fold in half and half <laughs> that was fast but you'll see me do it a few more times and it's just very simple it's got this beautiful little ribbon shape and that also gets put to the left next to the brie wheel and I felt like that fit really well and I liked to put the ribbon of the salami facing the front of the jar versus like the little pointed triangle side. So whatever fits best or looks best in your opinion, you can do anything with those. Um, so that is it for the meat. And so one of the last things I'm gonna be doing is our fruit. So, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, our cheese. <laughs> so the cheese, you, we're not gonna put on a stick. So I decided as I was looking at it, I would have to do a whole nother toothpick with the cheese cube and I didn't want to do that so I just ended up deciding to use the triangle which I thought was perfect it was a great different it was a different shape which I thought was nice we had the circle the rectangular the point and the round and the ribbon shapes so I think all of this is coming together so nicely so now I'm going to use our adorable little toothpicks that I actually got at the Dollar Tree so I found silver and gold ones and I'm gonna use it to put this beautiful bright tangerine with the blackberry first. So I end up, that one was a little harder to fit just because everything was either falling forward or out, but that's just the way of the game. <laughs> so I wasn't really worried. I just needed to figure out what, what was actually gonna work and hold and keep all our food in, which is why I chose to put the olive in the front. So eventually you'll see me say, forget this, it's not working. Put that olive and just hide it in the front. So. Um, yep, so that is what I did. As you can see, I didn't end up using the peel, um, the peel tangerine, just because I really did like the way the brightness of the orange peel came out, or the tangerine peel. So that is what you'll see me finishing up the last of these. So I don't know if I ended up deciding to put the olives in front, but um, there we go, see? I thought, no, you know what? This is gonna work better. So that's me finalizing all of that. And now lastly, it will be all of the decoratives, which I ended up deciding to use thyme. I did not use uh, the sage or the rosemary. I thought the thyme was light and elegant and just brought a little bit of a deeper hue to the board. 
or the jar and it just they came out really beautiful I loved every color I loved how the orange and the blackberry popped with the very bright white brie and the light green olives and it was just so gorgeous and it tastes amazing everything went really well together and the nuts was a great little surprise at the base of the jar so this is it this is my jercuterie and i really hope you guys enjoy it if you love this video and you want to see more different fun ways to give your guests an amazing little snack then continue to watch my videos subscribe to my channel and we will talk soon